so, 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 so. Yeah, man. So it says the earth mourneth, man. Why is that? Because, and 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 you can take that literally as the earth mourning, man. Because these animals, the animals, man, for starters, they're in a, they're in um they're in a sorry state, man. This this devil has made animals that the Lord created extinct. Yeah, because uh, Romans eight says uh, the whole creation groaneth. You know. Can't, can't. The, the whole creation groaneth. The whole creation, man. man. And that's and that's, so that's from the, the the creatures to man, man. The nations, the people. That's why Esau's destruction will be celebrated, man. They won't like who's gonna come in power after that, man. But Esau's, Esau's destruction will be celebrated, man. America's destruction will be celebrated, man. They celebrated when they uh, when the Twin Towers fell, man. You know, they celebrated like, oh shit, because they did they didn't know who, what really happened, man. But they were like, oh shit, somebody has has, has done something to those fuckers, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so I'm back in Isaiah 24 and 5. So the earth is it's lucky. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, man. Changed the laws, the ordinances, everything. Everything that the law has created and put in a put as put down as a the the, 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 the blueprint. Wow. This this man has flipped it. Yeah. He's reversed it, man. He's turned it on it turned it on its side, man. You know? You tell you that it's so it's, it, it, it'll, it'll turn men into it wants to turn men into women, <laughs> women into men, uh, make men effeminate and women masculine. He wants to he, he, instead of making your food natural, he wants to put all sorts of poisons in it. A fucking mad scientist, man. Yeah, he's, he, that's that's it, man. He's like a, he's like Doctor Frankenstein, man. He's, the, he's a mad scientist, man. His creations are off, mm. but this is all building up for his destruction. Uh, um, what's it? Yeah, oh. So uh, verse six. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. <coughs> Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt and few men left. I've got a precept. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the wicked are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. That's right, man. Read that again, Art. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. See, the thing about that is, a lot of the people don't even mourn because they don't even understand what these wicked people are doing. They think, especially in the West, man, they think that you know everything's fine and dandy. Man. They don't see that. That's why you've got countries like China, what Venezuela, uh, where else we've got? Um, not westernized countries, you know, other countries that are uh, protesting right now, man. Because they yeah. see Lebanon, Lebanon, because they see mm. the wickedness. Mm. They can see, they can see the wickedness that's going on. But in the Western societies now, we're under this. They're, they're under this spell that their leaders are all powerful and they're righteous and they're here to save everyone. And they can see it, though, man. A lot of the people they can see. They're it. starting to see it now, you know. But it's just the thing is that nobody really wants to point it, uh, to point a finger. And say ESO or the so-called white man. Everybody also say, well, uh, 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 the corporations. Yeah. Who is the corporations? Them. That's ESO, man. Okay, that's the elite of them, man. The, the ones at the top, the rulers of these people, man. You know, everybody, people, they would really want to avoid point at ESO, man. Nobody wants to say the so-called white so man. Lucky, bro. That's what ESO says. We're well, all in this together. Yeah, 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 humanity. Right, man. You know, <laughs> he didn't just do me over. They done you over. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but man. And that's the thing because what did he do when? When people start to know, I uh, realize his wickedness, man. You know, pollution and whatnot. They start to point at us. The, 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 the smaller people are supposed to change, do, do the changes. You know, we're supposed to start using uh, paper bags and paper yeah. plastic bags, and you know, not throwing um, yeah. plastic into the sea and recycle like, everything. Recycling. Yeah. When it's them, they're the cause of it in the first That's place. That's right. This devil's done an excellent job, man. He's got a lot to pay for now, cause, and it's coming to that time, man. He's going to have to start footing the bill. Yeah. He's coming back to just destroy yeah. man. Because uh, the Lord's going to turn the people around against you, man. Because thou are the word said, they said there should be seditions among men. That's right. And the word seditions, it means to rise up against the authority. Yeah. Okay, to rise up against the powers that are, are in place, man. So the people are going are gonna to turn around now and start rising up against their government, against their politicians, man. Okay? That's why this guy, this, this, the people in power, man, they go uh, uh, retrievals, places where they go and retreat and hide away and, to, and then let the military work, make decisions and make, let the military deal with it. Okay, those martial laws, that's when the seditions among men will begin, when the people actually now have, uh, will have enough. 
you know, okay? They, we've had enough of this shit now, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and the people start to rise up because these people now is this right now is because you know you you you're, you're, you're really fear, you're fearing your job, you know, you're fearing to be you know what well, I might get arrested, but eventually, man, all that is gonna be out the window now, man. When the people have nothing to lose anymore, you know, that's what do you think is gonna happen, man? They won't care anymore. They won't care, man. They're gonna take up arms now and go against everybody, man. Reach against the poor. Okay, the uh, the different race wars that are gonna be going on. All right. Hey, man. Because listen, I remember uh, reading a quote from uh, George Bush Senior. I'm kind of paraphrasing. He basically says that if the people of America knew mm -hmm. what the government <coughs> were doing. They go up to the, the city halls and the, and, the, and the Congress and they drag them out into the streets, man. Yeah. They kill them, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brazil? Is it Brazil or Mexico? Where they drag the, uh, they drag the, yeah, uh, they the, the mayor, man. in the car yeah. and then... They drag the mayor right behind the car, man. <laughs> that was, that that was crazy, enough, And that's on a small scale. And that's going to happen on a large scale, man. Yeah. This is uh, Habak Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which has lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell. Alright, let's go back and just read that slowly. Like... This is Habakkuk 2 and... F Should we start a yeah, yeah. Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up in him... It's like a, Which is lifted up, it's not upright in him. What's that mean, man? His, his spirit is off, man. Mm -hmm. He's got the spirit of, um, of wickedness, man. Yeah. His spirit is against the Heavenly Father. He's created to be that way. But the just shall live by his faith. Who's the just man? Who's the just man? That's the, 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 the men of the Lord, man. That's that on the street, on the highways and byways pushing this word, man. And, 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 and the faithful that are, that are listening to, these, to, to the men, man. That, you know, that's a, a containing of a, a, a men and, and, and a few women out there, man. That's the just man. The people who have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Verse 5. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine. Well, what's that wine? But that wine is talking about the doctrines, man. His philosophies. Yeah. Well, you know, he, can't, he, he tries to push his wickedness in all sorts of places, man. Yeah. You know, he tries to go to the, to the countries in Africa and tell them about, you know, changing their laws on um, you know, homosexuality and all that. You know, uh, uh, bringing about feminism in places where it's not wanted. Abortion. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Abortion. Because an abortion is one of the wickedest things out there, man. You know, this, this devil is teaching that it's all right to kill babies, man. And he'll come up with all these scientific uh, reasons to tell you that it's not murder. You know, it's a fetus, man. And you, so, someone get the, um, uh, the meaning of the word, uh, the, the uh, etymology of the word fetus. He is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. This is lucky back in Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell. Yeah, man. Neither keepeth at home, man. This, this, uh, 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 the armies of Babylon, the armies of Babylon the Great, are right now inhabiting about 160 countries all over the world, man. You know, who else can do that? Do you think India could just go and uh, dock up on, on, on you know? The, on the shores of America. You think China could do that or Russia? No man. It shows you that it shows you how much power that has been given to Babylon, man. Like yeah. it says in Job 9 and 24, man. Yeah. Because uh, even uh, even uh, setting up a military base in any country that's close to America, man, they can start a war. Like that's for example, right. when uh, the world was almost in World War Three, when they set up uh, which is devil's camera. And uh, uh, when uh, when uh, when Russia set up uh, the the mis there's that uh, that situation that happened with the, the missile crisis in uh, in Cuba. Oh, yeah. That's hella close to America, man, and that that almost provoked almost the World War Three, yeah. you know. But there was not that was not time yet, man. So the Lord sort of uh, squashed that squashed that down, and nothing really happened, you know. But yeah, man, even setting up uh, your military base close to America is uh, can start spark World War Three. Uh, there's a situation now that's in uh, Ukraine. Uh, it wants to become, they've signed that to become a part of NATO, you know, and that's hella close to Russia, man. That alone as well can spark a World War III, because now you're setting up now, uh, that, it's like basically pointing a gun at Russia now, man. You know, setting up a military base uh, 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 in, in Russia. So those are two powerful nations, man. And this you is know? all the laws doing, man. <coughs> setting this up for the, 
for the, you know, that final move. Yeah, the, um, the whole, Isaiah 13, the Lord Master is the host of the battle at the of Peter's. A fetus, an unborn or unhashed offspring of a mammal. In particular, an, un an unborn human more than eight weeks after conception. So no, it doesn't say anything about it being um, unformed cells. As they, these, these, I just wanted to make that point because that's what this devil does, man. Yeah, it's with yeah, everything, yeah. you know. That's just a baby, a small baby. You know, when you, you know, let's get graphic a little bit. The seed, man, the seed, the sperm, right? That's you. You know, if it gets to the egg, gets fertilized, that's still you. That was always you. Yeah? So this this devil's telling you it's all right to kill. So there's a term, so there's a you know, there's a there's a time where it's all right to kill babies. You know, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, basically man. take it away that cute. Take it away that cute uh that cute that women are because women are sensitive, man. You know, if you tell her you killed your baby and she's like, no, no, uh, it wasn't really a baby, it was just a fetus. You know? So lucky for me. When you, in that first in that first eight weeks, the, bra uh, the baby's brain starts to develop uh, and a heartbeat is formed as well. So there's no excuses, man, whatsoever. There's no excuses. Well, a heartbeat is found, yeah. a detective. That's the difference. Yeah. yeah. You know. Anyway, don't want to get too. That's a, a, a what's that man? A, a warned to him that he was neglected by uh, by law. By establishing. As he attend, maybe try no. It's um, back in uh, Habakkuk 2 and 5 um, just get to the and is as deaf and cannot be satisfied. So, read it, read it, read it. so Habakkuk 2 and 5 from the, from, from the beginning. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. He's a proud man. He thinks that he's never going to get touched, man. Like the brother went into, man. That Babylon has never been touched and that's the way he, st he thinks it's going to be forever. Because he's sitting at the seat, he, right now he's sitting at the seat of power, telling everyone else what to do. Man. Neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death. He's as death, man, that's what he brings, man. Son of perdition, man, you know? Mm. All he brings is death and destruction. And he keeps telling you that it's going to be better, things are going to get better, you know? Yeah. When that, throughout the ages of his of his the, um, dominion, things have only got worse. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And everyone's still looking to this man to save the day. He ain't saved the day yet. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and why do they believe that, man? It's his portrayal. He portrays himself as the hero. Ooh. When he's the ultimate enemy. Yeah, uh, uh, what's that one? Uh, uh, Satan has transformed himself into the angel of light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I make a point about what you just said? Uh, there's a video that's circulating. Uh, that in Flint, the water, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the oh, machine yeah, that was yeah, yeah. created by a former soldier and it was vandalised, but the point that he said that it wasn't vandalised by any ordinary or average vandal no, vandalised. It was a sabotage, man, let's call it, uh, yeah. get more technical, it's a sabotage, it, sorry, go on. So, um, yeah, he was, it extracts um, uh, water out of the air, so he was a former soldier, which, which is a Jake, and they made a point that he's a Jake, he's only Jake the form of all things but the point is that he's from some higher higher up people because it's affecting their money so there's ways where, where jake is very um what's the word the form of all things inventive, inventive. Eh? In, in. creative inventive innovative innovative and we survive we find ways to survive even though the, all the water is polluted and they're poison not no it's not even not polluted it's poisoned right. so um that's a, that's a point where you mentioned that Esau's um, uh, transformed himself into an angel of light. But behind the scenes... And it's a good point, man. Why is that? Because he's showing you that how easy it is to get clean water. Mm. And this man... And see that Flint thing as well? This, mm. Those devils don't want a clean water in Flint, man. Why is that? Because a lot of jakes are there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they just want to poison up the jakes. So it's about money, but it's also about, as usual, killing off um, jakes, man. You know? And like you said, that was a technical sabotage. That was well done yeah you know but he's back on he's back the, 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 that's the good news the positive side of it is that he's he's found other ways of um being more in, uh, innovative to to heal the problem and come back again and then and, and to make the um the machine anti vandal anti anti vandalize or anti sabotage mm. that's jake again isn't it and, and, and if he still was about that life man he'd be doing that he'd be creating those things giving people free will but he's not about that man 
I remember one of my university lecturers, he said that um, in one of his houses he had, he said he um, made a, 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 he got the electricity to power his house and he did it himself by sticking two iron rods into the ground. And he said he did it all himself. So even electricity, you can get electricity for free. You know, everything. Yeah, that man Tesla, that, that Nikola, Nikola Tesla was doing that, man. He created technology for that. Man. If you come around and tell, and tell you that that's dangerous, we don't test it that man, so take it out. And they'll make it illegal for you to get electricity. And any other way other than uh, he set up where, man. And, and, That's Esau. And Tesla was probably a Jake anyway. Yeah, yeah, he was, you know. Because what, what was happening in that time where you had, you had Edison being Esau yeah. and, 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 and robbing the man of all of his, all of his patents and his inventions, man. You know, that, that man, Thomas Edison, was barely in, an inventor at all. He's more of a, um, a, an owner of patents, man, if anything, or a chaser of patents, man. So uh, back in Habakkuk 2 and 5, and cannot be is as, and is as deaf and cannot be satisfied. Yeah, man, no, there's no satis. He wants to take everything, man. If, if, you know, anywhere that there's oil, minerals, gold, what, that, that man's there, man, coming up with an excuse of the, uh, give bringing democracy so he can come and steal everything that everyone else has got, man. Because he, like I said, he can he never has enough, man. Just take, take, take. He'll take his place until there'd be like one desolate place on the planet that's inhabitable and everywhere else is fucked. As long as he's all right in that spot, he doesn't give a shit, man. So, um, but gathereth un unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunt in proverb against him and say, woe well, to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long and to him that laid of himself with thick clay. Yeah, man. So these other nations are, they're, they're tired of these, the Esau's tricks, man. They're tired of his greed and his, uh, his wickedness and it's him going everywhere and taking what you got, but you can't take nothing from him. I mean, look at Trump right now. You don't do what Trump wants or you don't want, you don't do what Trump's puppeteers want. And, you know, he's sanctioning you, he's sanctioning you, he's sanctioning everything was sanctioning everyone for all these little things just to get his own way. And he only has that power, and um, uh, Babylon only has that power to do that, man. What other country can do that? What other country can impose sanctions on America? You know? Verse 7. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them? Verse 8. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people. So verse 7, Habakkuk 2 and 7. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? Yeah, and a yeah they're going to rise up suddenly, man, to bite you. Yeah, when you least expect it, man, do you think you've got these nations under your spell still, man? But they're really, they're really putting against you, man. China especially, man, they're already, they're already, you know, you, what did you have? You had Libya was trying to put you out of business. You know, Gaddafi was trying to put you, you lot out of business. You know, uh, unifying the African nations and, and bringing in gold currency. Uh, so what did you do? You went in there and you killed the man, you murdered the man. This is a, this is a country that was given, now this is a country, listen to this, that was given out free electricity, right? Tech, um, uh, interest free loans. Uh, it would give you free education, free health care. Now, and you, and you want to call that place like a third world place? Free housing, uh, uh, money for um, farming. If you wanted to um, start an ag agricultural business, you get um, you know, newlyweds would get money. Everyone would be housed, man. It was the man's philosophy that everyone had the right to a home. Now, this devil doesn't think like that at all, man. Yeah, Yet you've yeah. gone into that country and, and murdered the man claiming that he's some sort of tyrant, man. When he's doing better than what you've ever done. He was in a, that, that, that place was actually an example on how things can be run. If given, a, if, if, if someone is allowed. If left alone, yeah, but. Left alone to do things the right way. But you yeah. can't, but you devils can't let, um, let, these, uh, let these other nations live, man. Because you just want what they've got. And, and, and that was another means of you getting your elite's world banks, uh, uh, world bank into that place. That place is a shithole now, man. Uh, back in verse seven, shall they not, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, 
and shalt thou lucky, and thou shalt be for booties unto them. Verse 8, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil them, because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. What's that scripture? This is the land cannot be cleansed unless it's cleansed. Exodus 20, I think it's 21 and 25. Get back, please. It's um, uh, Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2 and 15. Um, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbour drink, that putteth, putteth that bottle to him, and maketh him, maketh him drunken also, that thou mayest look on, on their nakedness. Amen. And that's beautiful, man. That's his, the scriptures have the way of putting the words together, man, to expose you know, the ways of, uh, of Edom, man, the ways of Babylon, man. And that's what you've done. We better get that. Habakkuk 2 and 15 Woe unto him that giveth his neighbour drink that putteth the bottle to him Destruction unto him that spreads wicked philosophies and doctrines basically that's what that's saying and that's yeah. what that's what Babylon has done Because Jack when, uh, when you when you when Jack when Jack uh, turns away from, uh, from, uh, from the ways that the Lord gave us we are really naked man Okay, so all these nations really they are seeing our shame. They are seeing what happens to us when we turn away from the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, because uh, just like going back to uh, uh, Adam in the garden, he was naked because he turned, he turned, he turned away from, uh, from, the, from the way that the Lord set up for him. Okay, so he, he was naked. That's what the scripture says. He would, then he, he realized he was naked. It's metaphorically speaking, man. So us as a nation today, we are naked. His philosophy is on us, and now everybody can see our shame. Okay, we're naked now. This is uh, this this the Lord, us coming, us learning this truth, these scriptures, these laws, getting our nationality back. That's the Lord putting back, uh, like in the scriptures, going back to Adam. The Lord uh, sold uh, leaves together, and you know, that's the Lord sewing the leaves together, man, and, and uh, clothing us back up again. Okay, because this is us, man. This is who we are, man. This is our nationality. All right. It's lucky. Yeah. So, because uh, I was going to say, in the ancient days, man, in the ancient world. These other nations would know exactly why we were in derision, man. Because they would, they knew about who our power was. Now they just think that's just they, that's just them, you know. Yeah. It's in their it's in their genes. They they they're less intelligent than everybody else. They yeah. just can't do do things properly, you know. Yeah. So I saw one video clip one time of Jack. I don't remember what it was about. It was just basically Jack just doing some stupid ass thing, and then I, I, I even my comment on it, he commented on it, just saying, "Well, they're just niggas being niggas." Yeah. You know, and, that, and that's the point I'm trying to make precisely. That's perfect because that's how they look at us, man. They don't understand that we don't have our power right now. You know, like they they would have in the ancient world they would have seen they would have known that we was without our power, man. And that, and that's when they would try and catch us, uh, you know, at our vulnerable moments, man. But now they just look at us as you know, like the brother said, niggas being niggas, man. And the the, the further away. Jake is from Esau's westernization, his philosophies, indoctrination. The more in their right spirit you see them, man. Like, for example, these Jakes that come over from West Africa or, you know, some Israelite foreigners from Eastern Europe, they're in that spirit of, you know, um, being intellectuals and working hard. Whereas the Jakes that grew up here in England and become totally westernized, they're lazy, they're stupid. But that's because they're under that, um, that Edomization, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Edomization, man. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a word. <laughs> that's, um, inspiration from the Elder Mahd. Low self-esteem. So back in Habakkuk 2 and 5, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbour drink, that putteth thy bottle to him, and maketh him drunken also, that they may us look on their nakedness. Yeah, so it's a... Just read that last bit, it's like it was just making... That they... Yeah. Really that put us that bottle to him and make us him drunken also. So put us that bottle to him. Man. So that's not just saying that you, he's openly just offered you the, the, that, that Babylon juice, man. He's forced that upon you. Yeah. You know, he hasn't given you much choice in drinking that juice, man. Yeah. Can I make a point oh, on what you're saying? Uh, there was a documentary on st uh, the study of you, human behavior or children's behavior, and it was asking questions to all of them. It was um, it was a they put they put uh, all different um, 
backgrounds in, in a collection together and studied them, watching them on camera. And then they got them and asked them a question, what's special about you to, to each of them? And the only one that said that there's not, nothing special about them was the Jake woman, the, the so-called nigger woman. And they, they had to try and really dig it out of her. She said, there's nothing, no. What, you sure you ain't? Can't you do that? Well, can't you do that? Well, no, no, no. Were they children? They was all yeah. children, under the age of four. Study of human, be of children behavior. And, oh, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. and the Jakes, which could have been um, Edomite, some of them were uh, Edomite, but some of them could have been Jakes as well, saying, I'm strong, I've got a good six pack. <laughs> Everybody had something positive to say apart from the, the nigger woman. That, that goes back to uh, that low self-esteem yeah, yeah, and yeah. being under the, um, the vibration. That, did you see the one with the, with the doors, mm. where they show oh, the yeah, child yeah, the white yeah, door yeah. and the black door? Yeah, which yeah. one is good when the white door? Which one is bad when the black door? Which one is uh, 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 ugly, yeah. ugly when the black door? Which one is beautiful when the white door? You know? And that's what you devils do, man. You've done a good job of uh, suppressing uh, the, the spirituality of, of Jake, man. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and the power that we really have within ourselves given from the most high, man. Can I just add, Baba Kusha, uh, it's, it's handed yeah. down from, um, from generations. Six, six, six. That, that indoctrination, because our parents, even though the elect are protected, but our parents were taught to be stupid and Cunt. not to think highly of them, so not to have no self-esteem. So they pass it down to their children. And that's why them children uh, yeah, right. all reacted. So the ones that had self-esteem, their parents had self-esteem. They was passed yeah, down. Yeah, Iso understands the psychology of mm -hmm. it, man. Iso, because Iso is well studied, man. You want psychology, man? Iso understands your, your, your... That's why when they want to catch a serial killer, they start to think like a serial killer. Mm -hmm. You know, they know he's going to yep. do this. He's, they start... They start uh, going two steps ahead of you. They know which family member you're gonna go to. They know you know where you're gonna hide or how you're gonna hide. Or that's why criminals. That's why criminals can really get away. They catch you quickly, man. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. might not have a phone on you, but they catch you quickly. Why? Because Iso understands how you think. Human psychology. So yeah. Iso understands psychology, man. Iso understands how the black man thinks. Iso <laughs> understands how all these different races think. Because and they know they can turn it around. But Iso, they and all that for you for your children to point out. Uh, at the black door and say that's the ugly one or that's the evil one they understand how why you are doing it and basically that's just an experiment to find out that they are, it's all working anyway and you can't they, even sir. it's a it's, it, the elites is within the it's within their plans to keep you on that level man to keep you not knowing who your nationality is to keep you thinking you're a slave man you know because it's because they understand that you are the people of the of the of the of the, of the heavenly father and you going back to the scriptures, man, is dangerous for them. You know? Uh, Psalms 83. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So, just to, uh, just to no back problem. up what I said earlier on, you know? This is uh, Judith 5 and 17. And whilst they sin not before they got power, they prospered because the power that hated iniquity was with them. You see that? That's for Israelites, man. What are, the next one as well. He said, while we sin not, read that again. And whilst they sin not, before their power they prospered, because the power that hated for iniquity was with them. See, while we sin not, uh, we prospered, because our power was with us. So every time we did right according to, uh, with the Heavenly Father, man, everything, we prospered in everything that we did, man. We had blessings, okay? Any nation that tried to come against us, man, would destroy it, all right? Uh, go ahead. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them. When we departed from the way which he appointed us. What's example? What's, what did the Lord appoint to us? Man? Number one, laws, statutes, and commandments given by Moses. You see, we were supposed to live by those laws, man. But when we, when we fell off from those things, we started following the ways of the other nations, started worshipping their gods. Uh, go ahead. They were destroyed in many battles, very sore. Uh-huh and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. You say that? We were do, everywhere we went to, we would lose. Slavery was for us, for us because we turned away from the Heavenly Father. All right? We went to war, we would be destroyed, man. And then today now, man, the Heavenly Father completely done away with us, man. Okay, completely cast us off, man, from Jerusalem all the way to the Americas, man, on the other side of the world. Why? Because we departed from the ways that the Heavenly Father appointed to us, man. You see? So that's the point I was trying to make there, I man. Like when we, we when we walked side by when we did as as the Lord said to do, we prospered everything that we did. Okay? 
everything that we put our hands to, our children grew up, you know. We, uh, when we went farming, men, our food would come in. A nation, a nation tried to come against us we, in war, men, we would laugh at them, man. You know, we we'll send just a few of yeah. our men, they go and destroy them. A few against the many, man. You yeah. know, they still get destroyed. And that's when they really understood the power, man. You know? Back to you, man. Yeah, okay. So, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. Sorry. Yeah, man, a holy people, man. A, a separate people, you know. We're not meant to be dealing in the, in the ways of these heathens, man. Because we don't need to be dealing with the ways of these heathens. Because they ain't got no power. We got our own, the brother was going to, we have our own power. You know. And, but right now, you know, we're coming back into our power, man. And he's, going to and he's going to show these other nations that he is dealing with us. Mm. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the above face of the earth. Above all people, man. So you Christians can get that bullshit out of here, saying that the Lord's dealing with everyone and everyone can be saved. That's right. He's only dealing with Israel, you know. And it says that we're a special people, above all people on the face of the earth, man. Right, and we show that even like a, even in even in our lower state, we still show that. We still show that we're stronger and smarter than the rest of these uh, uh, these heathen nations out here. Let's get some of those precepts. Uh, the one in Second Ezra six. Another one in Another one in Isaiah. Isaiah fourteen and fifteen. You know. Yeah, I'll get the second Ezra. It's uh, 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom the Lord, who's lucky, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we also, as <coughs> lucky, of him come we also, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So basically, what's that saying? Well, yeah, we all come from Adam. Because that's what, that's what these people, when they find out that they're not in, in, included, you know, in the promise, man. That's what they start saying. Don't we all come from Adam? You know? Aren't we all the same? Continue. Verse 55. All this I have spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made us the world for our sakes. Verse 56. So like, it's like, yeah, the world is made for our sakes, man. This place is for us. You know, the Lord made it for us to control, for us to, to rule over these other nations, man. You know, under him, through his spirit and his power. Continue. Verse, verse 56. And as for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are they are nothing but like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them, it's lucky, has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Listen, man, there's no getting around that. Man. Just said that you likened. It's, read that if you like. So that, yeah. Second, so Second Ezra um, six and fifty six, and as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. They are nothing, man. They mean absolutely nothing to the Heavenly Father. But be like unto spittle. And, and spittle is that, you know what spittle is? It's that, that stuff that comes in the corner of your mouth that you just wipe away, man. It's nothing, you know what I mean? You know when you've been talking a lot and you get that stuff there and you just wipe it away? That's, that's what, that's, you know, it's not even spit. It's, you know, it's, it's less than that, man and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. You know, you, that's self-explanatory, man, you know. Yeah, because you, if you go a bucket full of water uh, and a drop falls out, you're not going to cry about it, man. Of course not. It's, it's just a drop. That's it, man. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna keep it moving. And that's how the Lord has described you other nations, man. If the Lord got rid of you, that's it, man. He ain't going to cry about it. You know, we're not going to ask about where is the Moabites or where the Hamites. That's how irrelevant these other nations are, man. 